Hello, Techie Tutor here with another edition of How to Be Smart with Your Smartphone. Today I'll be focusing on the clock app and I'm using an iPhone to show you what I'm going to be showing you. Let's start first with opening up the clock app and I want to show you the various features within the clock app. You have the world clock, uh, which will show you uh, any cities that you're interested in. You see, I have Amsterdam, London, New York, and San Francisco. It's very easy to add another city. In the top right, you'll notice the plus icon. If you press that, then you'll have a list of cities and you can go find any city that I'll just add Cleveland. And now you see it's it's right here. So that's a useful part of the clock app. Another useful part is my favorite, the alarm app. I use this all the time and not just for your standard wake up alarm. What I do is I add things and label them and have repeated alarms. So let me show you how to do that. I'll press the plus in the top. I'm going to change the time here. Okay. Make it, let's say, 1.30. I'm going to give it a label, lunch meeting. This is something I want to repeat. And here you see, I have a choice. I can, is this something that happens every day? Then I will click it. Or maybe it's something that's only on a Tuesday. Once I select that and it's part of my alarm, I've added a, a label. I've added a repeat function. When I save it, you'll see what happens is now every Tuesday, it's going to go off at 1.30. I love this part of the clock app. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Apple. Um, I do use it. Now, I also use the clock app to help me remember medications or vitamins that I have to take because some I take every day, some I take every week, once a month, and I can easily add them to my alarms and they will go off when they need to and help me remember. So another aspect of the clock app is down here, you'll see a stopwatch. What happens there is you press reset and it will just go up starting from the start button. So an application might be you take a walk and you want to see how long it takes you to walk a mile. You would press start when you begin your walk. And after you finish what you think is a mile, then you go ahead and press stop and it will tell you how long it took. Obviously a little longer than that. Um, there's also a lap timer. If you want to see how you did a few times, it would just uh, continue down here. You would see another one. Uh, the timer is kind of the opposite of a lap timer where you will be counting down. I have it set for 20 minutes right now. This might be used when you want to remember to make a phone call or maybe you need to turn the oven off in 20 minutes. You would go ahead and start it and then in 20 minutes, it will the alarm will remind you. I hope you have found this useful, and if you enjoyed my video or got anything out of it, please help me out. Press the like button, subscribe to my channel for more videos, and have a nice day.